Okay, so today we're going to take a look at modeling mixed numbers with units of hundreds, tens, ones, tenths, and hundredths in expanded form and on the place value chart. So we'll be looking at a few places in front of the decimal and a couple of places after the decimal. Okay, so we're going to first start off with number one here where it says write a decimal number sentence to identify the total value of the number disks. So we can see that we have two tens, five tenths, and three hundredths. Now, when we're doing this today, we, again, we want to be very careful of the place value. Remember that sometimes we might have a zero somewhere, so we have to make sure that we are putting any zeros in for our place markers. So our first one, we know that two tens equals 20. We know that five tenths would look like this as a decimal. And then finally, three hundredths would look like this as a decimal. So now when we go to combine them, we can see that we have 20 and 53 hundredths. Notice here where we have zero ones. Okay, we go right from tens to tenths. We're skipping over the ones place. Okay, we have a five in the tenths place and a three in the hundredths place. So now moving on to letter B. Again, be very careful. You can see that we have five hundreds and then four hundredths. Notice the th. So our four hundredths looks like this. Okay, so now when we go to combine those, we see that we have five hundreds, we have zero tens, zero ones, we put our decimal point, we have zero tenths, and then finally four hundredths. So you have to be very careful because of all those zeros. Now moving down to our place value chart here, Okay, we see that we have a number here. It says use the place value chart to answer the following questions and express the value of the digit in unit form. So we're starting off here with a number 416 and 83 hundredths. So first we look at the hundreds place. So we can see there's a four in the hundreds place. Now the value of the four is four hundreds. Now we move to our tens place. We can see that we have one ten. So it has a value of one ten. Moving to the tenths place, we're coming over here to the eight. Okay, we've skipped over the ones. So now the eight has a value of eight tenths, written in unit form. Finally, we move to the hundredths place, and we see that there's a three in that place. And that three has a value of three hundredths. Okay, so now we do the same thing for our next number. So now again, this number can be read as 532 and 16 hundredths. So again, remember when we read these numbers, we say the word and when we come to the decimal point. So starting off in our hundreds place, we see the five, which has a value of five hundreds. Okay, next we move on to the tens place, and we see that there's a three there, which has a value of three tens. So be careful with that wording. Okay, it's the tens place, the digit is three, and that three has a value of three tens, or thirty. So now we move over to our tenths place, where we have the one. And that has a value of one tenth. Okay, and then finally the hundredths place where we see that six. And that six has a value of six hundredths. Okay, so hundredths is the place, six is the digit, and then the value is six hundredths. Okay, so now moving on, okay, we see a table we're going to be taking a decimal and fraction form number, writing it in expanded form using both a decimal and a fraction. And the first one's been done for us. Now, be very careful with this section. Remember that you go one digit at a time. Okay, don't combine the tens and the ones. Okay, go each place at a time. So, for example, you see that we have 15 ones. But 
when we go to write it out in expanded form, you go each place. So it's 1 times 10, 5 times 1, 4 times 1 tenth, and then 3 times 1 hundredth. Okay? So let's walk through all this. So next we have 21 and 4 tenths. So we'd write 21 and 4 tenths as a fraction. Now again, go each place one at a time. So let's first start off with the 2. Well, that 2 is in the tenths place and has a value of 20. Moving on to our 1's place, which has a value of 1. Then we have 4 times 1 tenth, which has a value of 4 tenths. And then finally, we move to our hundredths place, which we don't have any. So we'll just cover that up. So now we do the same thing, but this time in decimal form. Now again, your ones and tens are going to stay the same. The only thing that's going to change is what comes after that decimal. So again, we're going to start off with 2 times 10 plus 1 times 1. That part does not change from the fraction notation. So now we have 4 times 1 tenth as a decimal. And then written as expanded form would look like that. Okay, moving on to the next one. You can see that we have 38 and 9 hundredths. Now again, we have to be very careful because we're going to start seeing some zeros. So first, let's start with the 3. So that's 3 times 10, because that's in the tens place. Then we have the 8 in the ones place. And then finally, the 9 is in the hundredths place. So we're doing 9 times 1 hundredth. Okay, so writing it out now in expanded form. We get 30 plus 8 plus 9 hundredths. Okay, and then coming over here to our decimal notation. Again, continuing the same steps. And then finally, 9 times 1 hundredth. Okay. Next, moving on to 50 and 2 tenths. So again, we only need to do 5 times 10. We have a 0 in the 1's place. So then we move on to the tenths place. And you can see that we have 50 plus 2 tenths. Okay, and then moving on to decimal notation. It looks like this. 50 plus two-tenths. Okay, now our numbers are going to start getting a little bit larger. So let's go through it and remember one digit at a time. So we have 301 and seven hundredths. So start off with three times 100 to get us our 300. Then skipping over the tens place and go right to the ones place and we have one times one skipping the tenths place and now we have seven times one one hundredth okay and moving on to decimal form oops cross that off so three times one hundred plus one times one plus seven times one hundredth Okay, it looks like that. Okay, so next one we have 620 and 8 tenths. Okay, notice how it says 80 hundredths, but I'm just going to make it into 8 tenths. So 6 times 100 plus 2 times 10 plus 8 times 1 tenth. Okay. And then same thing here, 6 times 100, 2 times 10, eight times one tenth. Looks like that.
Okay, last one is a very large number, but it's actually pretty quick if we make sure we're looking at the place value. So it would read 800 and 8 hundredths. So as a fraction, it would look like this. Now, expanded form is going to actually be pretty quick because we only have two digits that are not a zero. So we have 8 times 100 to get us our 800. And then 8 times 1 one hundredth to get us our 8 hundredths. Okay, then as decimal form, 8 times 100 plus 8 times 1 one hundredth to get us our 800 plus 8 hundredths. Okay, so it should be fairly quick and easy, but again, be very careful looking at the place value. Go one digit at a time, one place at a time. And go very slow to make sure that you're getting each digit and each place correct. Okay? So give the exit ticket a try, and we'll see you in class tomorrow.